Hello viewers, welcome back to my another new episode. Today in this video we are going to explore Russia's new upgraded Tu-160 bomber. If you are interested to know, then stay with me until the end. The Tupolev Tu-160M, also known as the White Swan and NATO reporting name Blackjack, is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber developed by the Soviet Union and now operated by the Russian Aerospace Forces. This aircraft represents the pinnacle of Soviet-era bomber design and continues to be a critical component of Russia's strategic bomber fleet. The development of the Tu-160 began in the 1970s as a response to the American B-1 Lancer. The Soviet Union sought a bomber that could penetrate deep into enemy territory at high speeds and altitudes, carrying both conventional and nuclear payloads. The design competition for this new bomber started in 1972, with the Tupolev Design Bureau eventually winning the contract. The Tu-160 made its first flight on December 18, 1981, and entered service in April 1987. It was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Air Forces before the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Production continued until 1992, with a total of 36 aircraft built. After the Soviet Union's collapse, the fleet was divided between Russia and Ukraine, with Russia eventually acquiring most of the Ukrainian aircraft. The Tu-160M is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft in the world, as well as the fastest bomber currently in operation. It features a variable sweep wing design, allowing it to optimize aerodynamic performance across a range of speeds and altitudes. The aircraft is crewed by four members, a pilot, co-pilot, navigator, and electronic warfare officer. It measures 177 feet 6 inches in length, with a wingspan of 182 feet 9 inches when fully extended and 116 feet 10 inches when swept back. The bomber stands 42 feet 12 inches tall and has a maximum takeoff weight of 275,000 kilograms. It is powered by four Kuznetsov NK-32 afterburning turbofan engines, enabling it to reach a maximum speed of Mach 2.05, or 2,220 km per hour. The Tu-160M boasts an impressive range of 12,300 km and a service ceiling of up to 52,000 feet. Its armament capacity is up to 45,000 kg of ordnance, including nuclear and conventional bombs and cruise missiles. The Tu-160 was upgraded to a new version, the Tu-160M. The Tu-160M modernization program began in the early 2000s, focusing on upgrading avionics, navigation systems, and electronic warfare capabilities. The first modernized Tu-160M was delivered in December 2014. The modernization includes new engines, specifically the upgraded NK-3202 engines, which provide better fuel efficiency and performance. The avionic systems have been significantly enhanced, featuring advanced radar, navigation, and communication systems. The electronic warfare capabilities have also been improved to enhance survivability in contested environments. Additionally, the weapon systems have been upgraded to integrate modern precision-guided munitions and cruise missiles. In January 2022, a newly built 260M performed its first test flight, marking the resumption of serial production. Russia plans to build 50 new Tu-160M bombers and upgrade 16 existing aircraft. Is the Russian Tu-160M a threat to the US? The Tu-160M's capabilities are not to be underestimated. Its variable sweep wing design allows it to adjust the wing configuration for optimal aerodynamic performance at different speeds and altitudes. This feature enables the bomber to achieve high speeds and long ranges, making it a versatile platform for strategic missions. The aircraft's four Kuznetsov NK-32 afterburning turbofan engines provide the necessary thrust to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.05, allowing it to outrun many contemporary fighter jets and surface-to-air missiles. 
The 2160M's range of 12,300 km enables it to conduct intercontinental missions without the need for in-flight refueling. This long-range capability is further enhanced by its ability to carry a substantial payload of up to 45,000 kg of ordnance. The bomber can be equipped with a variety of weapons, including nuclear and conventional bombs, as well as cruise missiles. This versatility allows the Tu-160M to perform a wide range of missions, from strategic nuclear deterrence to precision conventional strikes. The modernization program has significantly enhanced the Tu-160M's avionics and electronic warfare capabilities. The advanced radar systems provide improved target detection and tracking, while the upgraded navigation systems ensure accurate mission planning and execution. The Enhanced Electronic Warfare Suite increases the bomber's survivability in contested environments by providing better protection against enemy radar and missile systems. The integration of modern precision-guided munitions and cruise missiles has also expanded the 2160M's strike capabilities. These advanced weapons allow the bomber to engage targets with greater accuracy and effectiveness, reducing the risk of collateral damage and increasing mission success rates. The KH-101 air-launched cruise missile, for example, has a range of up to 4,500 kilometers and can carry a conventional or nuclear warhead, making it a formidable weapon in the 2160M's arsenal. The 2160 has seen limited combat use, primarily due to its strategic role. Its combat debut occurred in November 2015 during the Russian military intervention in the Syrian Civil War where it conducted airstrikes using KH-101 air-launched cruise missiles. The bomber has also been deployed to various overseas locations, including Venezuela and South Africa, showcasing its long-range capabilities. The 2160 has also seen use in Ukraine where it has participated in several missile raids on the country's electrical infrastructure, though it is not as widely used as the 295. As of 2025, the 260M remains a vital component of Russia's strategic bomber force. Despite its age and some technical difficulties along the way, the aircraft's speed, range, and payload capacity make it a formidable platform. However, as global militaries lean more into stealth bombers, the 2160, like the B-1 Lancer, will one day become obsolete. Russia's decision to restart production of the 2160M highlights its need for a viable long-range strike platform amid delays in the development of the PKDA stealth bomber. The modernization program aims to extend the service life of the Tu-160M and enhance its capabilities to meet contemporary threats. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel to get more videos and see you next time.